फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस हॉर्मोनल कॉन्ट्राप्शन दिस टॉपिक इज ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल इन गायनिकोलॉजी दिस इज ऑल्सो टॉट ब्रीफली इन द प्रिवेंटिव एंड सोशल मेडिसिन सो देर फोर वी विल कीप इट ब्रीफ रेलिवेंट पॉइंट फ्रॉम फार्मोकोलॉजी विल बी डिस्कस्ड बट आई थिंक दीज पॉइंट विल बी सफिशियंट फॉर योर एग्जाम्स सो द टॉपिक इज हॉर्मोनल कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन ओके बिफोर वी प्रोसीड वी कैन यूज ईस्ट्रोजन प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन इन कॉम्बिनेशन और अलोन फॉर प्रिवेंटिंग प्रेगनेंसी दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉन्ट्रासेप्शन सो बिफोर वी प्रोसीड विद द डिटेल्स वी वुड लाइक टू अंडरस्टैंड what are the main mechanisms of contraception using the hormonal approach main mechanism ki kaise kaam karte hain so to understand that we will draw a very simple diagram of the female genital system so we have let's say ovary this is just a representative diagram so these are ovaries o then you have the fallopian tube and this is the uterine cavity this is the cervix okay so you are going to give estrogen and progesterone in various combinations how these drugs will prevent pregnancy so first of all you know that sperm has to enter the vagina and through the cervix reach the uterine cavity now there is cervical mucus cervical mucus so first thing that can be done is that this cervical mucus can become thick so we will say thickening thickening of cervical mucus that is the first mechanism to remember cervical mucus becomes thick so penetration of sperm becomes difficult okay penetration of sperm becomes difficult that is mechanism number 1 thickening of cervical mucus then an ovum has to be released by ovary this ovum release of ovum is dependent on the activity of fsh and more importantly lh you all know lh surge in females causes ovulation so ovulation can be affected or prevented by affecting the level of fsh and lh so another mechanism is inhibition of ovulation ovulation inhibition so we will give estrogen and progesterone in various combinations they will affect the level of fsh and lh by feedback inhibition and that will prevent or inhibit ovulation okay third the ovum and the sperm they fuse they fuse and they lead to formation of an zygote or an embryo okay zygote is formed then it divides into eight cell embryo this embryo has to implant it has to attach itself it has to make its home so it has to implant on the suitable place on the uterine endometrium so implantation implantation is the third step and we will give drugs that will inhibit or prevent implantation so first mechanism can be 
that the drugs in increase the thickness of cervical mucus okay this is done this is done mainly by progesterone so progesterone or progestin only pill those pills that have only progesterone their main mechanism is this the most important mechanism of a pill having only progesterone is thickening of cervical mucus main mechanism again i'll say i'm writing here main mechanism then we have the combined oral contraceptive pills combined means these pills have both estrogen and progesterone okay they mainly inhibit ovulation that is the second mechanism inhibition of ovulation and which kind of pills act mainly at this stage combined oral contraceptive pills those pills which have both estrogen and progesterone and third we have what we call as post coital post coital pills also called as emergency contraceptive these are used after intercourse after unprotected intercourse sexual intercourse now after intercourse maybe that sperm has already penetrated maybe that ovulation has already occurred so we are not sure so what we want we want to prevent implantation we want to inhibit implantation so post coital pill post coital pill will mainly act against implantation okay so i hope the main mechanisms of oral uh, of hormonal contraceptions are clear there are three main mechanisms make the sperm entry less favorable or less chances by cervical mucus thickening which pills are mainly doing this progesterone only pills prevent ovulation which pills oral contraceptive pills combined which have both estrogen and progesterone and thirdly inhibit implantation make the survival of the fertilized egg unsuitable prevent implantation that is done mainly by what we call as post coital pill okay so i hope the mechanisms and the types of pills are also clear the mechanism of hormonal contraception three important mechanisms next next we come to types of hormonal contraception types of hormonal contraception so we can have oral pills you can give hormonal contraception orally oral pills oral pills three types i have already indicated to you we can have combined oral contraceptive pills they have both estrogen as well as progesterone we can have progestin only pill as the name suggests it will have only progesterone no estrogen these are also called as mini pill mini pill and then we can have what we call as post coital pill which we also call as emergency contraception post coital contraception so you can give hormonal contraception orally these are three important types of oral pills then you can give hormonal contraception via injection so injectable injectable contraceptive here we will mainly discuss what we call as depot medroxy progesterone acetate depot medroxy progesterone acetate in short called as dm 
PA. Now this is injectable. So this is mostly given intramuscular injection or sometimes even subcutaneous. So injection is given one injection for three months. Okay. So this is an injectable method of giving hormones mainly progesterone for contraception. You give one injection intramuscular for three months. Okay. Once in three months you give this DMPA injectable. Then third. You can give oral pill, you can give implant, injectable. Third can be implants. Implant, suppose there is a device called as nor plant. Nor plant. So what do we do? We do a minor incision and we place subcutaneously under the skin. Hmm? You can write under skin of forearm under the skin we put an incision and put what we put six capsules six capsules of levo nor gestal lng lng is levo nor gestal it is a progesterone Levo nor gestal. So six capsules are there. We put them under the skin. Okay. So each capsule, each capsule has got 36 milligram. So total 216 milligram. That is the total amount. One capsule is having 36 milligram of levo nor gestal. It is a type of progesterone. So total 216 milligram of levonorgestrel a progesterone we put under the skin and this will continue to act nor plant will act for five years okay five years so as you can see hormonal contraception can be given by various routes the important routes are oral under oral three types of pills then you can inject them subcutaneous or intramuscular or you can implant the capsules under the skin which will act for act for around five years so various routes are there of using hormones to prevent pregnancy hormonal contraception these are the various routes so two things we have discussed so far in two slides number one slide i explained to you how hormonal contraception works so now it is clear to you that progesterone pill mini pill will mainly act on making cervical mucus thick combined ocp will mainly act by inhibiting ovulation and post coital pill emergency contraceptive will mainly prevent implantation then there are besides oral pills injectable methods and implants nowadays there are vaginal rings also available some transdermal patches are also available various other new techniques are coming but they are usually not that important. Now coming to first type of pill. So first we will discuss the combined oral contraceptive pill. The word here is combined. So these drugs have both estrogen, they contain estrogen. The most common estrogen molecule that we use is called diethyl stibestrol. You can use diethyl stibestrol or another very commonly used is ethanyl estradiol. So these are names of estrogenic molecules available in market. Ethanyl estradiol, diethyl stibestrol, they are estrogen. So the pill will have mostly ethanyl estradiol, mostly ethanyl estradiol, sometimes diethyl stibestrol. The pill will also have progesterone because it is a combined pill. So it will also have progesterone. What are the important names of progesterone? So one name I have already told you, Levo, Nor, 
गेस्ट्रल एल एन जी लीवो नॉर गेस्ट्रल यू कैन हैव डेसो गेस्ट्रल देर आर मैनी सच नेम्स मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोजेस्ट्रॉन्स आर अवेलेबल इन मार्केट बट आई वुड नॉट कंफ्यूज यू विद अ लिस्ट ऑफ लॉन्ग नेम्स इफ यू कैन रिमेंबर 